Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Jaden Animations video reaction. This one is called I Attempted Impossible Mario. Now, if you haven't seen any of the Super Mario Maker Kaizo levels, those are very difficult. And Jaden is going to be trying them out. So, Mario Maker, I have played it, and I have played Mario Maker 2 in the past. So, it's going to be really, really exciting to see Jaden play these difficult levels. Even the Kaizo ones, where you have to, like, go... You shall like you have to do the shell bounce and all those cool tricks. So we're gonna see them right now. Go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Jaden. Links are in the description below. Like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share if you like my reaction. And let's get it in three, two, one. Let's go. You already know Mario. I'm not gonna explain him. I'm not gonna explain Mario to you. But a lot of people don't know about a little Mario community that thrives in the depths of the deep dark Mario crevices. I'm talking about. Mario Kaizo. Kaizo. Mm -hmm. Mario Kaizo is basically fan-made high-difficulty Mario. People will take base games like Mario Bros. 3 or Super Mario World and rearrange the levels to look like this. As you can see, a little more tricky than normal. I've been casually watching Mario Maker and Mario Kaizo content for a few years. I just think it's fun to watch while I'm eating cereal in the morning. And then one oh, man, I'm gonna... stood up and was like... I want to do it. My favorite Mario content creator is Ryukar, so I DM'd him asking if he had any Kaizo recommendations that are, you know, beginner friendly. I mean, I'm naturally gifted at video games, but at, at was that terminal montage I just saw? Beginner little baby card over here. Cut me some slack, all right? Ryu asks if I've played any Kaizo hacks before, and I say no. And then he asks if I've ever played any Kaizo levels in Mario Maker before, and I say. No. no. And then he asks if I've ever at least done a shell jump before. And I go, I've played Hollow Knight. And he goes, I don't think that can help you here. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. After a few more messages, Ryu generously offers to train me for Kaizo before I jump straight into a complete ROM hack. And oh boy, that was extremely nice of him. And extremely needed. We have a new <laughs> Discord call, and as I screen shared the training ROM, he was able to give me tips and pointers of what to do and how to do tricks. So I opened up the first stage called the Simple Jump, and... Uh, Alright, so this level seems like nothing. It's literally called the Jump, and it's... Oh. Yep! I, I, I called it. Are you picking up on what I'm about to be dealing with here? Anyway, throughout the session, I learned about getting past chucks, getting past reverse chucks, how to deal with lava plants, what slow and fast fall is, balancing on disco shells, precise swimming mechanics, grabbing and jumping on this block thing at the same time. It's weird. Shell jumps, you know, the basics. I was steadily yeah. more familiar with the moves and learning everything, and I'll be honest, I was starting to feel pretty good. You know, kind of getting the hang of it now. Bit of a confidence boost. Yeah. And I hit the test stages where all the mechanics you learned are packed into, like, an actual level. Test one wasn't too bad. It looks like this and ended up taking me around 20 minutes to beat. But test two was the one that got me. It's a short, fast-paced level with no checkpoints, but... Uh, between the really difficult button input to do the block grab jump thing straight into a shell jump and then land on tiny dino man onto yoshi i was my armpits were sweating the last trick you gotta do oh, is boy. yoshi and win but since i bonked my head or missed the jump so many times you can you can see the trauma behind this hesitation here but i ended up getting it after an hour and a half of attempts after all that awesome he says he thinks i'm ready for the real deal sends over the rom he recommended and here's my experience trying to beat my first mario kaizo hack super real world this is how the game starts out oh boy You're doing great. That's <laughs> Level one. I'll be honest. Because it just straightforward. Jump on a just starts off like that. More jumps. Choke right in front of the checkpoint. No. Oh. But eventually I was able wow. to it. And I'll admit, I was pretty stoked. Did you oh, jump oh, too? Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yes. I was worried I wouldn't even be able to pass the first level. And I actually just couldn't make this video because I was too bad. Oh, but man. I can beat at least one. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sh the More shades. Than it should. And the, the sunglasses. Level 2 was ramping up. You run through and dodge various swamps and stuff to hit a P-switch, then run back through everything in reverse so you can get into the pipe that was previously unreachable. After many attempts and this... 
No, let me in. <laughs> I managed to slip my way into the pipe where I met these two friendly guys. I was really caught off guard by cats in Mario game. So caught off guard, in fact, that I just ran into them and died. Checkpoint? Checkpoint? What? What is that? Oh. No! oh. I beat the stage quickly. Oh. So it's not... We're, come on. Next was this really cool escort stage where you nab this Galoomba mm. at the very start and use him to progress through the stage. It was difficult, but I had a really fun time with this one and the atmosphere was really cool. But I guess I was having too much fun because I let my guard down and got real humbled. No! Oh! <laughs> also, the first time I got to that part, I thought the Galoomba would turn around and come back. But he didn't, so I just watched him walk off the edge and strand me. Anyway, I had a hunch the checkpoint was right after that pipe, so I knew that if I just got that jump right, I could start making more progress. And after like 30 minutes of trying to get back in there, I finally did. On the bright side, I was completely right about the checkpoint being there. I did not, however, oh, calculate wait. this. So... <gasps> I did it. Oh, you did it. Please, a checkpoint. I'll be honest, that was a good one. I couldn't even get mad. And it's even more fun yeah. after you get the checkpoint, they'll spawn you right above that pipe continuously. So whenever you start again, you gotta immediately hold hard right. Oh, so yeah, I eventually ended up beating the stage. Now let me tell you about the fourth level. Fourth level. It was a lot of tricky maneuvers that didn't leave much room for error. Also, I thought the beginning was funny. Oh, okay. Trying to jump on these slippery little... The Monty Moles. ...was a bit rough. This was hard. This was hard. This was hard. I did this part wrong. Oh, boy. This guy suicided. No, don't do it! Oh. <laughs> you have so much to live worse. for! The second part of the stage turned into a build-a-bridge mole escort mission. I'll save you all the pain and agony and just say this level, especially the second half, gave me the most hell compared to the upcoming levels for a while even more oh boy the level called jank heaven I don't jank really heaven every single thing that happened in every single level but i can give you a little taste of what jank heaven was like real quick <laughs> that mario sprite no shoot <laughs> uh, that's a jump that's just hard i think everything i do here is impressive oh to some benchmark what? yes Oh. oh, I'm glad you like had the awareness, dude. That's like holy sh. Oh. Oh, sh oh. Shoot, this is the last jump. <laughs> So I'm progressing a good amount into the game at this point, but then I get to a ghost house called the Waiting Room. Overall, waiting Room. It's a pretty difficult all-in-one go level with no checkpoint. But the one part that just kept tripping me throughout the entire with stage the wiggler. was this part where you jump onto this wiggler, balance on him until that wall goes back up, jump off, and then whatever, do bomb stuff. I just couldn't do the wiggler part consistently at all. Either I would mistime the jump and pathetically hop off the edge like this, or do this, uh, or this, but it was mainly the pathetic one. I would say probably yeah, L. percent of my I saw that L. on that part specifically, and it technically isn't even the hard part of the level. I really don't think that part was even meant to be that hard at all. But an hour and 30 minutes of doing oh, the same mistake hour and 30 over minutes. Over, just try Damn. my best. I realized there was a much easier and smoother way to do that entire part. And I literally wasted all that time making the whole thing way more difficult than it needed to be. Oh. Nice. That's so much easier. Huge. Way oh easier. God. I can't believe I've been dying to that wiggler that way this <laughs> whole time. And I could just do that. It's probably what's intended as well. Wow. Probably right. Yeah. I mean, once I learned that, I did the stage 20 minutes yep. later. 20 that minutes was, later. That was awesome. Am I wow. Bad? No, not really. I'm an animator that works nah. in Adobe Animate slash Flash. I'm used to throwing away multiple hours of work into the trash. By the way, this happens right in front of the goal. <gasps> Okay. Dum, 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 dum. Oh no. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. You. Sure. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh! The stages are getting much more difficult at this point. There's only four worlds in the game, each containing around three or four levels, which going into it, I didn't know. I thought there was gonna be a full eight worlds and I was starting to sweat in world three. But yeah, Ryu ended up telling me I was in the home stretch and I popped off so hard. I just thought I was yeah. the time. After a few more levels, pain, agony, I made it to the last world. And oh my god. World 4, Stage 1, was the worst thing this game ever ended up throwing at me. I don't even wow. know how to go into detail with all the tricks and moves you need to do in this stage. But <laughs> Google I search it or something. Four hours on it. An hour and 40 minutes on the first half. Wow. And two hours, 20 minutes on the second. I know Mr. Beast and other content like that has kind of changed people's perception uh. of how much is a lot of time in terms of YouTube content. Four hours is nothing compared to, I don't, 24 hours touching a worm. But I sat there making mistake after mistake, learning and adapting and still failing for four hours straight. It was four, to like wow. get to me. Four hours. Like personally. Eventually, every time I would mess up, I would feel it in my Average height, a lot of bones, can't carry multiple grocery bags. <laughs> I have no confidence in my own judgment to make important court decisions, but I did it again four hours later. Maybe you don't think that's a long time, but I was wallowing in my own personal hell there for a while. So knowing Dang. that was the very first level of the last world, I was suddenly very afraid of this game and what it'll do to me. But surprisingly, the other two levels weren't nearly as bad as the first one. I ended up finishing stage two in only an hour and a half and stage three in 30 minutes. That was the-, the Only 30 minutes, wow. To regain some strength again, I'll tell you that. Stage three boosts my confidence and stage one keeps me humble. Fair and balanced life, if you ask me. Then I realized, I was about to enter the last level. Dude, I'll be honest. Oh boy. I was mad proud of myself. I went from not even knowing if I could build enough skill to beat one level to getting ready to go into the Oh next yeah, level Chad. Of the game. the Chad Jayton dog. To be there for the, finale, the Doge. Which basically meant he sits there for an <sighs> amount of time watching me fail over and over on mechanics he's already mastered. Like, oh yeah. Watching a toddler struggle to fit the circle block in the square hole. In good old oh, yeah. Iso fashion, the level starts out with I'm gonna miss this when I come out victorious. Or just perish on the spot, either way. So I started chipping away at the level, jump on these guys, balance on spiky, do this, do that. I was a little bit nervous because Ryu was watching and I, I wanted to show him how- Oh, I hear the Bowser there. theme from Galaxy. You know, like a teacher finally dun. being able dun, to dun, see dun, the dun, 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 dun. the death battle. Well, like, not just some school teacher, like a, a cool samurai teacher. Oh, so yeah. Much. I messed it up. Anyway, I was trying to impress him, and then I just went and did this, and this, and this. But he seemed proud of me anyway for just being able to get this far. Yeah. Some good progress on the level. I was about to get to the final checkpoint. Oh but, no. You know. Oh no, oh no. Oh! <laughs> Things happen. Even though it was a really hard level, it was still surprisingly a lot of fun. And not nearly as bad as 4-1. I keep bringing it up. Oh, 4-1. You know, it really got to me. But like that, maybe a bit less than three hours later, I got to the final room. It's boss fight time. For a final boss in a Kaizo hack, the fight was actually pretty chill. Not easy, but you chill. These on and off switches control the room going up and down, and you gotta get the floor low enough to grab these little blue blocks to throw at the giant King Boo or whatever he's called in this game. But don't let B it get Big too, Boo or King Boo. Can die to the lava right beneath there. So you're trying to keep all these things in mind, but to add to the pile, these little flying boogers meander around the stage while you gotta dodge them and yes they're rng based they're random you can't just memorize their booger pattern and be on your merry way Whoa. okay the smart way to go yep. about this boss is to stay in the they're middle just and calculate safe times to go to the sides and hit the switches but i was being stubborn and trying to brute force my own way to do it what a little booger <laughs> those guys are no! He punishes you for standing on the edges, you know? I'm gonna stand on this edge. <laughs> oh, it's a <laughs> checkpoint, thank god. I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> in the lava, and then crushed. And then, oh, this edge. Oh, as is life. Oh! 
Okay, I'm gonna stand on the <laughs> other side. All right, come on, come on. Yeah, it's um, kind of is actually, except for the guy. You keep on. Won't kill you. They keep on getting you. I'm gonna die on this hill. <laughs> I didn't know how many times you have to hit Boo. Mario rules always default to three, but it's Kaizo, so it could also very much be a thousand. Like six or something. No! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, so now I know you have to hit him, like, I assume five times. Oh. I'm not gonna spoil how many times you have to hit him. Yeah, so I hit him three times and didn't win, so I was like, all right, must be a thousand. But then a few attempts later, this happened. Huh. Oh. Oh, my God. oh, it is three oh, times. Snap. So I, I did get him three times, and you then did, I and just then you died. died too quickly. Isn't that awesome? It was three. I just died too soon after that third shot, and it didn't count, which I'm going to choose to ignore. I did it. I learned Kaizo, and I beat Kaizo. And it only you have beat 17 hours, not including training. Are there much more? Oh my God! Out there? Within a day. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Some of them look so disgusting, I don't even want to be in the vicinity of their aura. But I was able to challenge myself and beat one that was really well suited for my skill set going in. And looking back at the yeah. things I was able to end up pulling off makes me feel very cool. Look at this stuff. I did that. It's cool. Come on. I want my hard-earned credit and applause, please. I think my favorite thing about Kaizo is how easy it is to visualize the progression mm -hmm. of your skill within every single level. Like, World 3 Stage 3 starts off with a really difficult maneuver that I got hung up on for a while. And then suddenly I'm nailing it almost every single time. You can really feel and see yourself grow within Kaizo. And I don't think you can oh, think yeah. about a lot of things. Does that mean I recommend you I gotta try Kaizo. Absolutely not. If you get impatient and frustrated easily and are also bad at video games, don't even think about it. Okay, yeah. If you think it looks <laughs> exploding. You stay calm under extreme circumstances and have around 17 hours to kill, I can't recommend it enough. I liked it. Thanks to Ryu for helping me out and being extremely nice and training me and giving yep. me a great ROM and literally just sitting there <sighs> watching me struggle. Gotta play some Mario Kaizo or, or something. Channel. He's very entertaining. I've been watching him for years now. And yeah, that's it. I'm officially very good at video games and I have supplied documented proof. That's amazing. Again, if you haven't gotten your tickets, Scribble Showdown is back on tour. James, Dom, Ross, Aaron, and I are doing a drawn slash improv slash comedy show. And it's, uh, sorry, Ari. It's happening November da, 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 Mario Kaiso was also a lot of fun, and if I wasn't developing Carpal Tunnel, I would play nonstop. Thanks for watching. All right, talk to you later. Bye bye. Later. All right, guys, you know the drill. Go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Jane Animations. If you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. You like my reaction. And uh, Mario Kaiso, something I should try because I'm a big Mario fan as well. So, oh man, I, I should definitely try something like this. Um,. Yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching, and deuces.